Hey guys! I am so glad you're here. It's time to continue with Campfire Stories. Did any of you have a chance to memorize our memory verse? Let's take a look at that now. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Psalm 34, 19. Can you say that with me one more time? The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Psalm 34, 19. Great job! Some of the greatest campfire storytellers of all time have been fishermen. Ask a fisherman about the biggest fish that he's ever caught, and he'll tell you about a whopper that was so big it almost sank his boat. Or ask him about the one that got away, and the fish story will probably get even bigger. Fishermen around the world are known for their wild tells. They've given us stories about lake monsters and sea serpents and giant whales. They've had brushes with death because of the giant fish that they tried to reel in. Sure, there's probably truth in all of these stories, but it's also true that sometimes fishermen like to exaggerate. I can only imagine the way that people would have responded to today's story when Jonah showed up stinky and ready to tell people about what God had done. Jonah was a prophet chosen to share God's message with people around the world. One day, God called on Jonah to deliver a message to the people of Nineveh. Jonah knew that Nineveh was a wicked city full of bad people. And once more, they had caused lots of trouble for Jonah and his people. So what did Jonah do? He ran for the docks. He got on a boat and he headed the other way. Jonah wasn't the first person or the last person to run away from God. But what happens next was so unbelievable, so incredible, that I just can't wait to share it with you. Can you go find your Bible? Can you open it up to Jonah chapters 1 and 2? Read that with your family and meet me back here in just a moment. All right, are you done? Did you have a chance to read the verses? What an amazing story. So Jonah tried to run and hide from God and he thought it was a pretty good plan, but was it? Was Jonah able to hide from God? No, God knew where he was the entire time and God still had a plan for Jonah. After the men on the boat realized that Jonah was the reason for this crazy storm, what did they decide to do? That's right, they decided to throw him overboard. And then what happened to the storm after Jonah went overboard? The storm was calm. It ended almost immediately. The Bible says, at this, the men feared the Lord and offered a sacrifice to the Lord. For the first time, these men realized the power of the Almighty God, the creator of the universe. And while they were making their sacrifices and vows to the Lord, there Jonah was sinking deeper and deeper into the sea. Hmm. Do you remember what happened next? Did God let Jonah drown? No. He didn't, did he? He decided to rescue Jonah in a very unusual and rather disgusting kind of way. He sends a great big fish to swallow Jonah. Do you remember how long Jonah was inside of the fish? That's right, he was in the fish for three days and three nights. Now, that's a pretty slimy place to stay for a few days. And there was nothing else there. No blankets, no windows, no one to keep him company. So this gave Jonah plenty of time to think and to pray. Jonah prayed to God from inside of the fish. And he said, God, I am so sorry for not listening to you and for running away. 
And then God had the fish do something remarkable. The Bible says that God told the fish to vomit Jonah up onto dry land. Oh, can you imagine what Jonah must have smelt like when he was vomited onto the dry land? But it didn't matter. God had big plans for Jonah. Plans that Jonah couldn't change. He couldn't run away from God. He had to trust him. God's plans were way bigger than Jonah's plans. And even though Jonah tried to run away, he couldn't. God is always there. He always knows where we're at. He told Jonah to get up and go to Nineveh. Do you think that he went the second time? Absolutely. He went to Nineveh and he changed the hearts of the Ninevites. Let's take a look at today's video. Stories of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? and went to the port to board a ship going the other way. He was hoping to get away from God. Walmart. He sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshiped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Uh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. <coughs> the people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. I suppose Jonah's story wouldn't have been as adventurous if he had just listened. It's far less likely that he would have even taken the time to write the story down for us. But as much as Jonah learned from the experience, I imagine he would have gladly went back to plan A and just followed God's call in the first place. Jonah's story is a message from God. He's saying, I have plans for all of you. Only you can fulfill those plans and you need to follow my lead. God wanted someone to preach to Nineveh and he chose Jonah to do that. And in the end, that's exactly what happened. All of Jonah's rebellion, it ended in nothing. And he helped to save a very wicked city from destruction. There is a second message in today's story of Jonah. If you don't follow God's plan, you can always come back. 
I'm sure all of you have done something disobedient to your parents. Mom told you to do something and you did the opposite. Dad told you to come here and you went there. When you disobey your parents, you get in trouble. And oftentimes you're punished. That's a scary feeling, isn't it? God shows us in the story of Jonah that when we disobey him, he's willing to forgive us. We may have to suffer the consequences just like Jonah But God will help us to get back on track. He has a plan for our lives. And the shortest way to fulfill that plan is to follow his ways. But even if we've turned the other direction and ran away, he will help us to get back to where he wanted us to be in the first place. Can you pray with me? Heavenly Father, you are good all the time and I know that your ways are better than my ways show us your will and teach us to obey your ways it's in the holy and precious name of Jesus we pray amen thank you guys for being here now let's take a look at our Bible trivia how to play answer true or false to the following statements about today's lesson. Number one, Jonah lived in the city of Nineveh. Is that true or false? False, good job. He did not live in Nineveh. God asked him to go to Nineveh. Number two, Jonah ran in the opposite direction of Nineveh. Did that happen? True, it did. He ran in the opposite direction. Number three, the storm caused the ship that Jonah was on to crash into the shore. Is that true or false? False, the ship did not crash. Number four, Jonah still refused to obey God even after three days in the belly of a fish. Is that true or false? False. Very good. Jonah did obey God and went to Nineveh. Number five. God wants us to follow the first time and trust him to lead us. True. Very good. You guys are amazing. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.